how to use layers for selected coloring. First of all, I've started off with a picture here. Come over to under layers. As you can see, the little thumbnail of the picture right here. Right click on it and duplicate the layer. From there, come over to image, colors, come over to colors, click desaturate and choose whichever one helps you go for the look that you're trying to achieve. For me, lightness will be just fine. Click OK. Now, go back to this new background copy that you just turned black and white. Right click on it. Hit Add Layer Max. And we want white for opacity. Hit Add. OK. Now, click on the white new opacity that, uh, mask that we just added. Just left click on it to make sure it's selected. And then we come up here to the paintbrush and we click on it. And you'll notice that mine pops up right here. So for some of you, it may not. And if you, if it does not and it looks like this, that's okay. If it pops up separate, all I do is I click on this little tab right here and then hit add tab and come down to, yes, come down to when you hit on add tab, click on tool options and then whichever you select up here will automatically come down here and appear in this little bar. Okay. So now that we have this paintbrush, we want to select a circle. Just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to choose the largest one, which is circle 19. I'm going to make the scale as large as I can. Make sure that it is on this black setting right here. And then if we click on this, it should start to pull the color through from the other layer. All right, just like that. Now, what I like to do is just get a rough outline going. And then what I do, is I come back over usually, or I just scale it. Come back and I scale it back a little bit. And do a little more fine tuning. Now, whoops, well looky there. All right, to get rid of that, go ahead and flip, hit this little arrow icon. If you hit it, it flips the colors. That reverses what you are to do. So it, it will take away or, set, or essentially erase what you just did. So that's a good way to do that. Now, you'll notice that there's a little bit of green right there. All right, if you hit hold shift, I am using a Mac, Shift Plus, or essentially just zoom in. You can zoom in to the affected area. And then do a little more fine tuning to remove that green area so that all you have is some crisp, crisp clean purple, which helps the end product look pr very professional. Now, you may be thinking, boy, Andy, I don't want to sit here and just try to color in the whole time. That's going to take forever. Is there a quicker way? Yes. Well, I have showed you just how to set up basic layers and how to start pulling the color through. On the next tutorial, I will show you this tool right here, the pre-select tool. And then the next one, we will look into how to, how to use these scissors. Thank you very much.